and uh, today I'm in Akiva, obviously, to do a little bit of game hunting because it's, um, you know, holiday season and also I've got a break from school and I've got a few days off of work as well. And uh, I'm going to be doing some fun stuff in the spirit of the holiday season. Uh, but today I didn't actually have anything planned, so I thought I'd come and look for some games and uh, bring the camera along. And uh, specifically today, I think I'm just looking for like loose Famicom carts. I really just want something that uh, I can just take home, pop in the uh, Famicom and, and just have a little fun with. So really just looking for affordable Famicom carts today. And uh, I don't know, maybe something that uh, emotes a little bit of holiday spirit. I don't know. I don't know if there are any Christmas games, themed games or not. But uh, well, anyway, uh, I'm thinking today I'm going to go to the uh, game camp shops and maybe to Sudugaya. Maybe to Super Potato. We'll see. Um, anyway, it's pretty nice weather today. Uh, not too cold, despite the fact that it's uh, late December. And uh, I'm looking forward to walking around, getting a little exercise, and hopefully finding some, some uh, games that I can take home and have some fun with. So let's head over to Retro Game Camp. Yeah. see uh, pretty cool shop and always lots of Famicom on hand so let's get inside and see what we can find this is always a good place for Famicom games basically uh, plenty of loose and, and boxed games um, the prices are hit or miss sometimes but um, you know hopefully we'll get lucky as I have a look around in here. Oh. So as I'm looking around, I come to these uh, Namco games, and I see a couple of things I'd like. Um, a copy of Dig Dug would be fun. I'm kind of in an old school arcadey mood today. Um, Pac-Man is it looks it's overpriced. It's like 20 something bucks, but it's 50% off. So I think I am going to get that. And mm, I think I'm gonna pass on Dig Dug though. And just get the 50% off Pac-Man. And that'll be what I get from here today. Alright, so finished in there. I'm just gonna turn around and go right next door, uh, next to Liberty Anime. Uh, we're gonna go to the other game camp, which is the, uh, the game camp dungeon. Which I've done videos in here before, um, but I like this shop. It feels like a game store. It smells like a game store. And just getting inside and having a look at the Famicom. Uh, as the music blares, they usually are pretty good about, uh, again, 
having plenty of loose and boxed carts and uh, the prices are hit or miss again like the other one but maybe we'll find something else that's 50 percent off or something to that effect so i'm gonna have a, a look around for some famicom over here uh, again looking for the 50% off sticker a copy of Donkey Kong Jr. Um, which with 50% off this will probably be about eight bucks or something like that uh, so I'm gonna get that again being extra frugal today um, again kind of on a classic arcade to Famicom port kick I want all the classic Mario stuff really We've got Wrecking Crew and Super Mario Brothers and original Mario Brothers. Um, I'd get Donkey Kong as well if it was at least a little bit cheaper. Um, maybe Donkey Kong 3. I think with conversion that's like, mm, I don't know, maybe about 12 bucks. Okay, so I'm gonna get Donkey Kong Jr. and Donkey Kong 3 today. And those will be my two Famicom games from here. So I need to go pay for these and leave, because I'm getting hungry. It's Donkey Kong, the arcade sensation, and now you can play it at home. Hang on, sweetheart! I'm gonna save ya! Okay. All done with the dungeon. Got my uh, Donkey Kong for the night, and I'm hungry. So, guess what I'm going. Directly across the street from Retro Game Camp, uh, luckily for me, is a place that appeals to the American in me, and that's Carl's Jr. Uh, I actually think it's the only Carl's Jr. in Japan, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I think I might get me a Western bacon cheese and uh, hang out. God bless you, Carlos Jr. At Carlos Jr. you got taste. A delicious burger and fries. Uh, I usually make it a point to stop in at Carl's Jr. when I'm in Akiba uh, nine out of ten times. Um, but now I am actually gonna make a run over to Super Potato. Uh, last time I was in there I was doing a video specifically about how there are affordable games in Super Potato and uh, now I want some. <laughs> Uh, I convinced myself to go back and give it another shot. Um, and it's pretty sweet. We got plenty of girls outside with uh, Santa costumes and reindeer antlers. It's uh, pretty nice. It's very festive. If you ever wanted to uh, go to a nice maid cafe, uh, that would be a good time. It'd be extra Christmassy. Maybe they have extra Christmassy food and drinks and stuff. I don't know. But it is nice to see. Uh, anyway, we're coming up on Super Potato. So, uh, it's another new. It's not like there aren't a million videos about Super Potato. But uh, let's go inside and see what we find, if we find anything at all. And I was looking at the wrong building. <laughs> Alright, 
Good old soup and potato. The old, uh, the old standby. The got to make at least one trip uh, anytime I'm here. Um, we're gonna once again look at the Famicom games, not the boxed, because I'm being extra frugal today. But we're gonna take a look at the loose carts. Um, like I said, the last time I was in here, I was pointing out that they have a lot of cheaper loose carts. So that's what I'm looking at, and they're all nice and pristine, so well organized. So I'm gonna have fun digging through these. Once again here at the old stuff, um, I am definitely going to get a, a Donkey Kong because it's like $3 less than it was at Retro Game Camp, so I want that. But there's other stuff I want here as well. There's um, Adventure Island, which I, I think I definitely want. Uh, this is what, the 80, 86 release? Something like that. Um, so yeah, I definitely want Adventure Island because it's about $8 or so. And I want this guy, uh, Ninja Jaja Maruku. Um, these are some fairly fun games. So I'm gonna get, I think, just the original Jaja Maru, not his Daiboken, but just the original. It's about six dollars, so I'm gonna go for that. So yeah, I got three little loose cards here that I want: Jaja Maruku. Adventure Island and Donkey Kong, and I'm very happy with that. And I think overall this is going to cost me, these three games together might be about 30 bucks, I think. So, I'm a happy camper. So I'm going to go ahead and buy these games. Alright, I got my games. I'm quite happy with that. Hello, Gillian Seed. And I'm ready to get on out of here. It's getting dark and it's getting cold outside. It's almost time for your boy to go home. Hey, get your wonder soft world. So I was getting ready to leave, and then I thought to myself, you know what, I want to hit at least one more shop. So because I'm looking for Famicom, because I was strongly considering Beep, um, but Beep doesn't have a huge selection of Famicom. Uh, so instead, I'm going to go to good old 
Tsurugaya. The arrow points the way. Find some Famicom games. Okay, uh, long story short, uh, walked in, uh, had a quick look, and pretty much walked right back out. Didn't really find anything I wanted for a price I wanted. Uh, so I just kind of browsed a little bit and was out of there. Uh, again, passing on beep today. Because I know beep isn't going to have any cheap Famicom games right now. Anyway, um, I guess I'm done here tonight. Uh, I picked up some games that I'm looking forward to going home and playing, and I didn't have to spend very much money on them. And you know, overall, it was just a nice night anyway. It's, uh, I don't know. I like it out here when it's, when it's this time of year, it's this season. I guess I like it pretty much anywhere. <laughs> anywhere around Tokyo is fun this time of year. I'm happy that uh, Christmas is so widely celebrated in Japan because it's something I like. <laughs> Pretty much my favorite time of year. I think a lot of people agree with me. That was actually kind of a concern of mine when I first started living here. I didn't know if I was going to be able to celebrate holidays in my typical manner. I didn't know if I was going to be able to celebrate Thanksgiving, but I did. I actually brought Thanksgiving to my friends. We started having turkey and mashed potatoes and things like that uh, at a bar that I used to hang out at a lot. And I kind of introduced the idea of Thanksgiving to everyone, and they liked it, so we kept doing it. I get to celebrate Halloween, like, even bigger and better than I used to. I get to go out in costumes and everything, big parties, entire black parties dedicated to Halloween. And Christmas. Christmas is everywhere this time of year. There are Christmas trees and lights. And, I don't know, it's just a very, a very much uh, celebrated holiday here. And that makes me happy. Because I still get to go to Christmas parties and give and receive presents and have Christmas dinners and all that fun festive stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm kind of rambling at this point. But I hope you guys enjoyed tagging along for my little uh, holiday shopping trip to Akiba. Uh, hope you enjoy some of the scenery and, you know, happy holidays, everybody. Whatever you celebrate. Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Uh, or if you don't celebrate anything at all, just, you know, have an awesome day. And thanks for watching. And take care. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.
Denver and I'm doing my annual uh, holiday game hunting kind of trip. This is kind of the one night of the year where I don't mind splurging on myself and buying a few games that would normally be out of my price range. Uh, not just for me tonight though, I'm actually looking for games for other people. So Joel from Media Glitch for example, if you don't know Media Glitch, uh, go and check it out. But he wants a Mega Drive Mini, so I'm going to be looking for one of those for him tonight. Also some Super Famicom games, Sega Saturn games bunch of other people kind of try to buy those things uh, in time for Christmas for them, get all that stuff mailed out. Uh, anyway, also I'm being joined by Dennis today behind the camera. Say hi, Dennis. Yo. Uh, man of few words, but a man of action. That's Dennis. Uh, anyway, uh, it's cold, it's windy. Let's go get inside some game stores and, and buy some damn video games. Are you still walking? Yeah. going to be Trader right here. Uh, modern stuff on the first floor, all the retro stuff is on the second floor. I'm going to get inside and see if I can find some stuff for myself and for some other various people. So let's get inside look around. Sega Video Game SG1000 
find some decent deals. That's kind of a long shot. Like I said, today I actually don't mind spending a little bit of money. So let's just go inside and splurge. Forget about savings and the future and all that stuff. You gotta spend money on video games. Let's go. Strikers 1945-2. Uh, I've been wanting this one for a long time, so I'm gonna pick it up today. It's my gift to me from me for being such a good boy this year. カセット挿入すると、カラー52色の鮮やかな画像。コンピューターを相手にマージャン。五目並べ。そしてポパイ。ドンキーコング。2人で楽しめるマリオブラザーズなど10種類。ポーズボタンと切り替えスイッチで
us in Mandarake picked up a couple of games. Uh, first up, uh, War Wolf on the Famicom, which I've heard of but never played. Uh, and that's the coolest name for any Famicom game ever, so I had to pick that up. And then this game for the Dreamcast, uh, Taco No Mine, uh, kind of like a little puzzle game that I, again, never played before. So it was only about like 3,000 yen, so I thought, why not, let's give it a try. And that's what I picked up at Mandarake, so let's keep moving and go to some more game stores. Saturn. This is actually uh, for a viewer of mine and patron as well, so that's for you, bud. Um, I picked up this copy of Ultra Core, uh, indie developed game put out by Columbus Circle. Uh, I thought it looked pretty cool, kind of like Contra, so I thought I might as well uh, give that a shot. And they had one last copy of FX Unit Yuki on the Dreamcast. This game made by my good friend Sarumaru. Uh, so DJ, I got the last copy. Uh, and that's everything I got out of Retro Game Camp. So I think uh, that's about it for tonight. So let's uh, go get the hell out of here. Go drink some hot cocoa or whatever the hell you do around Christmas time. Let's go. Cocoa. Uh, 
I uh, picked up some really cool games today, both for myself and for some other people. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and Dennis on our holiday shopping trip. Dennis, did you have fun tonight? Definitely. Uh, Dennis, are you ready guys, to drink some beers? Dude, I'm like so fucking ready for some beers. Oh, me too. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks everybody again for watching. And uh, happy holidays, happy uh, Christmas, uh, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. And if you don't celebrate anything, just have an awesome day. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Hey everybody, Jim here. I am in Akihabara right now. And I'm here for my uh, annual uh, holiday game hunting trip, which, uh, you know, some people have pointed out, you know, if it's Akihabara, it's not so much game hunting as just going and buying games. It's like hunting for sand at the beach. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, this is sort of like a day each year where I'll come here and just sort of uh, splurge a little bit, buy a few games that uh, might be a little pricey, but just stuff I want, you know. It's uh, my present to myself, from myself, for being such a good boy this year. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to a handful of game shops and pick up, I guess, one game from each shop I go to, something that looks good. Uh, but before we do that, though, we're actually over by, I think, the central exit of the station because across the street at the Akihabara container, they're having a Kyo Kusanagi themed pop-up shop. Uh, so they've had like a lot of different Neo Geo shops as of late, uh, themed after different characters like Mai and Terry and Iori and I think some others as well. So they finally got around to Kyo. So we are gonna go yes. to the Kyo Kusanagi pop-up shop across the street as soon as, well, as soon as we're allowed to cross. And just like that, through the magic of editing, we are, uh, all right, across the street, we're gonna go to the uh, container. We're gonna go look at some Kyo Kusanagi stuff. And uh, I think I'm gonna make this kind of a, a quick trip. So uh, maybe just like a video montage of the stuff they have in here. And maybe I'll pick up a little something for myself. Uh, but this is pretty cool. They finally give uh, Kyo a little love. So here we are, Akihabara container, Kyo Kusanagi pop-up shop. Uh, very cool. Let's get inside and have a look around. So, in 1998, the King of Fighters is
so that'll do it for the Kyo Kusanagi shop at the Akihabara container. I actually ended up picking myself up a, a t-shirt, Howard Connection t-shirt. Go figure, it's a Kyo Kusanagi shop. And I pick up a Geese Howard t-shirt. Uh, anyway, very cool shop. Uh, yeah, nice to see some, some Kyo love. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go back over to the other side of the station where all the game shops are. And we're gonna hit, I don't know, maybe three or four and pick up uh, at least one game from each one we visit. Uh, so let's, uh, let's do that. Let's do a little walking over on the other side of the station. side of the station and we are headed to uh, Super Potato. That'll be our first stop for tonight and uh, to make things maybe easier on myself, easier on my wallets and to save a little time, I think at each shop I go to I'm gonna settle on a just a single console to pick up a game for. So I'm not gonna be like perusing absolutely everything in the shop. Uh, so I think for Super Potato, I I think I'd like to pick up something for the Super Famicom. They have lots of Super Famicom games, lots of box stuff, so uh, that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna go for. So anyway, here we are, Super Potato. Uh, yeah, let's go buy us a, a brand new Super Famicom game. Let's do it. プレステーションビーターいや、どうかしましたピースピータじゃないのかピースピータじゃないサンタクロース王国なんとかなんないですかね本館はわかりかねます Potato time. Let's get through to the Super Famicom. Ah, a thing of beauty. We got a lot to choose from too. Although there's a lot of loose stuff too. More cost effective. Get like Kiki Kai Kai. Still expensive. Still like a hundred bucks for a loose card. Maybe not. I want something something boxed. Something that I can have fun playing, but will also look nice on a shelf. Something sassy, but also professional. Uh, let's see. Or actually, hmm. Let's see, we're alphabetical here. So let's take a quick look. Actually, I no longer have a copy of Gundam Wing Endless Duel. I ended up selling my last copy. Uh, that's a maybe. I wouldn't mind having that one back in the collection. Hmm. Or maybe I'm in a shooter mood. I'm in kind of a shooter mood today. Uh, what do we got? Maybe some Parodis. Jikyo Oshaviri Parodius. Hmm. That's another maybe. Let's we'll see. <laughs> Jeez, I wanted to like cut down on how long I'd be in here by focusing on one console. Might actually be taking longer. Hmm. We have some Sailor Moons, we have some... I don't know... Gogo Akman 3. 
which I still haven't played yet. I might actually, I might actually go ahead and get two games while I'm here. Uh, now that I think about it, okay, I'll do that. Go Go Akman three and Parodius, and I think that'll. I'll let Gundam go for today, and we'll get Go Go Akman three, or Shabetti Parodius. And those will be two games I can have a lot of fun with. A good platformer, a good shooter, and uh, nice additions to the collection. Okay, that's enough of that. It's warm in here, very warm. Okay, let's buy our games and get out of here. Okay, so I picked up my Super Famicom games from Super Potato, and I'm happy with my purchases. And now I've uh, come down the street a ways for our second stop of the night, right next to Star Kebab, Best Kebab in Akiba, in my humble opinion. Uh, but we've come over here uh, not to go to Beep, Although I might go to Beep anyway, but they do not like people filming in there at all. Um, but we're gonna go to Sudagaya. Retro game. That's that's what they got. And in here we're gonna have a look. I'm gonna look specifically at their PC Engine games. So we'll try to pick up like one or two PC Engine games to take home and have some fun with. So let's go peruse Sudagaya. <laughs> ゲーム。そう、ゲームでしょ。つまり今はプレイステーションビータ。So I am perusing the uh, PC Engine games and not really finding anything that I want on the shelf that I don't already have. It's kind of like the consequence of collecting for something for so long. It becomes harder to find, uh, you know, games you want for it. There is something in the case though that I'm going to pick up, so I'm going to go get in the mi that in a minute. But I did find an Avenue 6 pad. I've actually wanted one of these for a long time. So I'm going to pick up this Avenue 6 pad and go home and play some Street Fighter with it. Uh, but yeah, there's a shoot 'em up in the case. Kind of pricey, but uh, I'd like to add it to the collection. So I'm going to go grab that, and then we'll get out of here. Okay, so I'm all done in Sudagaya. I perused their PC Engine stuff, and uh, didn't really find something I really wanted on the shelf. Uh, but this was in the case, uh, terraforming, for the uh, PC Engine uh, Super CD. So uh, this is a shoot 'em up that uh, has kind of a cool 3D rendered look to it. 
and uh, I've always thought it looked pretty good and it's one I didn't have in the collection and so I grabbed it and hopefully it's pretty good. I'm gonna go home and play it on my uh, Avenue 6 pad as a matter of fact. Uh, anyway, let's uh, keep going. Uh, get on to the next uh, shop, which I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna go swing by Retro Game Camp. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get our asses over there. Okay, here we are, Retro Game Camp, lots of games inside, um, but I've decided I'm going to focus uh, on second floor. I'm going to go look for a, a decent Sega Saturn game to take home with me. So uh, yeah, let's get inside Game Camp, gets us some Saturn goodness. Lots of games, let's go. Santa-san, Retro game camp all done. Uh, that was another instance where I didn't really find anything I wanted for the Saturn on the shelf, uh, but I did find something good in the case, and that was Astra Superstars by Sunsoft, a uh, really colorful sort of 3D fighter that I've wanted for a long time, never played it, heard great things, and I loved uh, the video I saw of it. So anyway. Astra Superstars from Retro Game Camp. Uh, pretty cool. Something I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of fun with when I take it home. Uh, anyway, yeah, cool game. Uh, but we're gonna keep walking. I think last stop of the day is gonna be Trader, which is actually a little further down that way. So let's go head over to Trader. Okay, so here we are at Trader. Great shop, probably probably my favorite in town as a matter of fact, just for the selection and prices. And uh, we are gonna once again head up to the second floor here where all the retro games are. And uh, for this place, uh, they always have a lot of Dreamcast games. So I'm gonna go to their Dreamcast section, peruse that, and see if I can't find something fun to take home for my Dreamcast. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get inside Schrader. See what we can find. Let's go.
Okay, so I'm all done in Trader and uh, kind of went against my own rules. Uh, was looking at the Dreamcast games. I wanted to do some commentary while inside, but unfortunately had some music blaring like right next to the Dreamcast games. That would have got me a nice big fat copyright strike, uh, but directly next to the Dreamcast games. I couldn't help but notice their Saturn selection was looking pretty good. And I ended up picking up uh, Shinryu for the Saturn. So not a Dreamcast game. Uh, Shinryu, uh, top down, shoot em up. Always thought it looked really good. Always wanted a copy of it. And today decided, you know, why not? Let's uh, pick it up. Looks good. Price is right uh, for, you know, an expensive game at least. Uh, so yeah, we got Shinryu for the Saturn. No Dreamcast game as I intended, but uh, that's okay. Dreamcast will have another day. Anyway, yeah. Awesome Saturn shoot 'em up to go with my awesome PC Engine shoot 'em up and my awesome Super Famicom shoot 'em up. Quite a lot of shoot 'em ups today. Uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna keep moving. I'm not gonna buy any more games today. I'm gonna give my wallet a rest. Uh, but I do want to go somewhere where I can get a beer. So we are gonna do that. So uh, yeah, let's go. So we're coming up on our last stop of the night, which is going to be a place that has become one of my new favorite places to uh, get a drink. And that is a place called Tokyo Video Gamers. And you'll know it uh, when you come to it, because it's the only bar that has arcade games outside as well as inside uh, and everything is free to play which is awesome so uh, we're gonna go inside we're gonna play some games have a drink and uh, I'll show you around a bit but this is where I sign off demask for this so thanks everybody for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, sort of random holiday game hunting slash game buying trip and, uh, well, I guess I'll just say a Merry Christmas to everyone, and Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, Happy Everything. And uh, take care of yourselves, hope you have a nice holiday, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Welcome.